this video I'm going to talk about one of the primary lymphoid tissues, which is the thymus. So thymus is really, really important um, for uh, certain types of maturation of, of lymphocytes, so namely T cells and natural killer T cells. Now remember in my last video I talked about how uh, B cells um, and natural killer cells mature in the bone marrow, whereas T cells and natural killer cells move from the bone marrow to the thymus to undergo more extensive maturation. So this is the thymus right here. So kind of a brief introduction, the thymus and the bone marrow are two of the primary lymphoid tissues. So they're involved in, in uh, maturation of lymphocytes. Um, so the thymus is, like I just said, for killer, killer cells and natural, or um, natural killer T cells and T cells. And then the bone marrow is for everything um, other than the final stages of T, uh, T cell and natural killer T cell maturation. You also have the secondary lymphoid tissues, which I will probably draw uh, maybe some lymphatic vessels in the lymphatic system in a future video. But just as a reference, you have the secondary lymphoid tissues, tissues which are the lymph nodes, the spleen, and then you also have various um, gut-associated lymph tissue and mucosal-associated lymph tissue, which is just called GALT and MALT. Um, there's also tertiary lymphoid tissue, which I'm not even going to touch on in this but the secondary lymphoid tissue is providing um, an area where antigen is trapped and then it kind of provides an opportunity for uh, interaction with mature lymphocytes and then antigen dependent maturation of T and B cells. But for right now, we're gonna look at the thymus. So it is the site of T and NKT cell maturation. Um, the thymic structure is pretty complex, as you can see from this drawing. I'm going to label everything here. But it's basically a bilobed encapsulated organ that has lobules, and it's separated by connective tissue strands. Um, so the thymus is actually located right under your sternum, so in your chest, that little bone in the middle of your chest, it's located under there. It's called the thymus gland. Um, so I'm going to label this here for you. So right here is the outermost part. It is called the cortex. Um, and then right here, all of these cells are densely packed, immature, proliferating thymocytes, um, so most of which are undergoing apoptosis. So I kind of tried to draw that in green here, so there'd be a lot more than what I drew, but just kind of get so you get the picture. So we have our, our uh, thymocytes in red, and then in green we have our dead thymocytes, or apoptotic. Uh, you have the inner compartment, which is called the medulla, so I'll label that here as well, maybe in what color haven't I used, I'll just use white I guess. So I guess this little area, if I can erase this actually, might be better. So. So this area here would be the um, cortex, so this upper layer. So this is just the surrounding capsule, I guess I should have called this, so we'll just cross this out. This is the capsule, my apologies. And then the bottom part here is called the medulla. Now in the medulla, you have um, more mature thymocytes. Um, which will kind of be like these guys right here, and then there there be a little bit more red ones in here, let's say. So these are your mature thymocytes. But then you also have cells like macrophages. Um, you have dendritic cells right here, which are professional antigen-presenting cells. You also have your cortical epithelial cells, which are these guys. Um, blood vessels, uh, which are in white right here. Um, yeah, so during the, the um, maturation of uh, thymocytes, uh, they interact with cortical epithelial cells, which are 
these guys, uh, the medullary epithelial cells, which would be this guy in yellow, I forgot to label that, and medullary epithelial cells. and dendritic cells, and then 